Next question that we've received is, what causes excessive hair shedding? And I'll call on Dr. Toasty first. Okay, maybe I spent my life answering this question, <laughs> so it's a good question for me. So let's, let's say that first of all, it's very important to understand if it's true hair loss, meaning that the hair are falling with the roots, or if it's just breakage, which is very common, especially in women. And if it's true hair loss, let's say that most common cause of acute true hair loss is a disease named alopecia areata. This is a very dramatic disease that causes acute uh, hair shedding. The other important thing to keep in mind is the timing because this is not always very clear to people. So when you start shedding, you don't have to think that something happened a few days before. Shedding is always something that uh, has been triggered months before. And this is because of the biology of the hair follicle. So when you shed the hair, it's because the new hair is already growing. So always keep in mind that the trigger should be searched in the past two, three months before, and it's almost never something you put on your scalp or on your hair. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Ross, can you add to that? Sure, I can just add and echo everything Dr. Toasty said. She's an uh, expert in hair disorders. I often refer to her from Tampa to Miami, so it's an honor to have her on this panel. Um, exactly what she said. Um, <laughs> The, uh, most of what we think about in terms of hair shedding, you probably experience as your clients coming in and saying, my hair is thinning, and, and we get it all the time, and we get it every day. Those are most often internal things that they're doing. It is not the monate that, or any product that they're necessarily putting on their scalp. So if we can take um, and treat our scalp as an extension of our skin and think about how we can think about scalp health, that's probably the, the best recommendation that I can make, and then internal things, so stressors. Dr. Toasty mentioned the timing of it, so it's not something that happened yesterday. It's three months ago they had a fever and now their hair is thinning, or maybe their diet is poor, and I'll let Dr. Agin, who's the expert in that, um, speak to us about internal things, but, but really encourage your clients to think about internal things that are driving the hair loss. Dr. Agin? Yeah, I I agree. Uh, you know, it is a very common thing for people to come into my office and talk about, you know, hair loss. And the first thing is to determine if it's really excessive hair shedding because that's normal. It's normal for us to do that and for our hair to do it. And sometimes when you're extremely healthy and you have healthy hair, skin, and nails, that's going to be something you might see more often uh, as your hair continues to get healthier. Um, but we talk about the inside of the body and how important it is. And as they're saying, it's not the products. And I answered a lot of questions about, you know, uh, some of the issues that people might be having with hair products. And it's usually something internal. And we all know that our lifestyle is a big factor on how healthy our scalp and our hair is. And so the better in, uh, attention you can pay to uh, your diet and looking at those things, and of course, hormones, uh, minerals, vitamins that we're lacking in our diets are the really contributors to excessive hair shedding and damage. And so you really have to talk to these people and let them know to go to their doctor, start looking at internal issues and not to question the products. The products are safe. Uh, they're created to help hair, and as long as you keep the internal body healthy, it works really well. So don't, don't forget, you have to consider your diet and hormones. Okay, thank you. Monate, we are modern nature.